And we continue with Dershu Mishnah Bura. We're in the middle of Simeon, Pei Zayin. Apologies for the lack of shear in the past few days. I've been a bit under the weather. But we pick it up from Simeon Pei Zayin, Sif Beis, as we conclude Elchai's creation. Graf Vavit Shal Cheres. We have the chamber pot that's made out of Cheres uh, porcelain, Oy Shal Eich, Shekafal Hapiv, which is made out of wood that was flipped over onto its top. Yesh Metirim Yesh Eishim. Allah Chal Kedivri Eishim. Continues the Mishnah Bura in Sif Gimel. Motor liquor is Kriyishma of a Bayish Yish by Tsayme or Glaim or Grava of it. You'll have to say Shema in a house that has Soya, in a house that has Mir Glaim or this chamber pot. Kimishi Herchik Mehem, as long as you dis- distance from them, Kishir, the distance as we turn over the page over here, concluding the Machaber, Shinisbar, Bissimanayin Tas, Talaramois, or Malayin of if it's in front of you. Chainim Kavu Aleim Kli, and similarly, Put another kli on top of them. Afal pi yishem imoy babayis. So with you in the house. Arei helu kikvurim. And if it's buried, muter likrois kinegdo. So we're seeing here that the double covering gives it the status that it's no longer there at all. And you're allowed to read opposite it, which we'll see in a moment. So it says the Mishnah Bura, Sif Katan Zayin, commenting on Sif Beis, that you're allowed to read if it's made out of, if it's flipped over onto its head, this chamber pot, etc. Says the Mishnah Bura, Yishmatirim Davi Kamoi Kisoi. Once it's flipped over, it's like it's covered. But Yishayir Sirim Sivkot and Ches. Why? Kimo Chazua Ma Balua Beteichai. Since the filth is absorbed into it, Akli Gufa who Kamoi Tsaya. So the vessel itself has the status of Tsaya. Vaser Achei Chaseu. Therefore, until the vessel itself is covered, it's not going to work. Therefore, flipping it over is not going to help because you're like flipping over a piece of tzaya. It's still tzaya. Ava shalma teches. If it's made out of metal, filo ino rachos mi befnei ma'ani kifiyah. Even if it's not washed out, it helps to flip it over. Why? Din Yisrael mi teichai. Because then it does not get absorbed into the walls of the metal. And therefore, the isser is only the part that is revealed. Kfiyah chashav kisui. Flipping it over as if it's covered. Vim kisui alai grava avid v'reyach ra naitimam. It reminds us, the Mishnah Bura, the same reminder that he's done so many times, that if the Reach Raf, the foul odor, is emanating from it even after it's slipped over, then, whether it's porcelain and washed, or metal and not washed, regardless, as we've said many times, because this is a separate halacha, the halacha of distancing the Dalet Amos from the foul odor is always has to be taken into consideration by itself. Because this is a bad smell with an acre, with a subs- with a source to it, which is the of it that is sitting in front of you. Let's say it's metal and washed out. Then it's enough to go until you don't smell it anymore. You don't have to actually go for amois from there. Why? Because then there's no substance, because the fact that it's metal doesn't absorb. You washed it out, so there's nothing actually there. So it's a reach ra without any substance. As long as it doesn't smell, it's fine. Kasav shalah, shargal adam shayla avit shal matachais, ois chuches, says the shalah, you should have a chamber pot of metal or glass. You rachot, vinaki, shows be washed and clean. Vialtal toich revia maim, and put into revis of water, kshikshemashtin, poi. And then, kishe. Excuse me, and you should put into a vias of water, Kshamashtin boy, when one urinates into it. Va'az, and then, then there's no concern at all, because then the Meriglayim is Mevatel, and then you'll have to say, Ashiyatzar and learn, etc. Venir Ali says the Mishnah Bura, Abunaki ve'ino yaitzi shamreachra. Let's say it's clean, it does not smell, Mimenu, Azai, Daisher, Chitzi, Umer, Shabbos, Arav Shabbos. It's enough to wash it out weekly, Adkan Lashari, Vuvabel, Yerabba. And we continue with Sif Gimel, in which the Machaber taught us that you let us say Shema in a house that has different foul substances, as long as you're marching for them the appropriate distance. Says Mr. Bura Sif Katan Tess, Sheyarchik Vimu Babayis Amita Gavoya Asara. Let's say you have a bed that's ten tefachim tov and mechitz magias laaretz and has walls to the ground. Mikol Asadim. Ayal Kapanim Shari Glag Sara Yisrael Shor Legs Yenu Gavoyis Kimul Tefachim Davi Kolavid. And then it's like lovid. But tell you, I grab avid aimeid achir amita, and then there's something foul opposite the bed. Mikri amita mechita. The bed itself is called a mechita. Of shari likros with ne amita bein sar laharchi because it's talen amais. Excuse me, because it's ten tefachim tall. Therefore, it's a separate rishos. 
you don't have to distance yourself from it. Ubilvad, but of course, you always have to be careful. You always have to be careful that you do not smell it and you do not see it. Says it goes wall to wall. Concludes the Chayadim. In a vessel, which is not a graph, which is not designated for urine, etc. The inon element of Rabbanon, Yesh la hakel, Likrois la varech, Negera machitza, then one could be makol to read Shema and make brachas, Negera machitza, Filena chitzatza, Zavol, Loike Negera avir, not opposite the airspace. Fine bear a loch shake, Tagdun kolosh and beze. Tap in my kavuim bakoisel, says the Mishta Bura, pages that are kavua into the wall, Shakar in plitza, Oi bank. Even though these these uh, platforms might be ten tefachim tall, the fourth tefachim wide, they do not receive the status of rishus by themselves. Because they do not have mechitzes. Says the Mishnah Let's you have a table on legs. Shame Barach Van Arbat Fakim, it's not for Tvachim Wai, it will be Shane Kavayan Asar Tvachim Zatan Tvachim Tall, Loi Havi Machit Salavsik. One cannot jump onto his table and think he's in a different Rashal, so that does not work. Quoting the Chayadam. Oikas of Sham, Grafo, if you look at the Meraglayim, I mean, Betanur like Kaisel. We have the Graf or the Meraglayim that's standing between himself and the wall. Near a lead, the Asar Lama, it's a Tanur, the Laker is Avabi Shatan or Mavsik. Even though the oven itself separates, it is not enough. The kevan de humach da shmishe abayis, potzal gabi abayis. So Shabu over here throws in an interesting halacha that since the oven is a usage of the house, its status is that it's considered potzal to the house and it can't be considered a machitz of chinkal kitz mezavol sharkli abayis sheinim yuchalais. That's only the oven, but other utensils which are not yuchad near a lead mafsikim would yes be mafsik. Like we saw by a bed, if it's going to be ten tall, etc. And the walls go within three tefachim on the floor. Even though it's not ten tefachim tall, Charlotte is laying amita v'gabu. You let her read in front of the bed on top of it. I mean, lavod v'avi kimachusa, and therefore, because lavod halachically says that within three tefachim is closed up. It's as if this soya meir glayin or dirty diaper under the bed, as if it's covered up. B'chol zeh b'shin magia reach rav, of course. Of course, magia loi ba'ani kisui. Of course, if the foul smell reaches you, that does not help covering it up. V'loi hefsig mechita. A regular bed that the leg says Mishtabura are higher than three Tvachim does not help, and therefore you need to distance yourself from the graph. And finally, even if there's a little bit of airspace in the clean the ground, I mean, I love it. I mean, it's considered a double covering. It's going to be ulcer. That's, of course, could be a symbol just to put a double covering. We'll pick it up from Simon Pemch Peiches the next year.